disastrous outing in the UK general elections, the Conservative Party went back to the drawing board and have chalked out an interim shadow cabinet. The new cabinet, however, does not feature former Prime Minister David Cameron, who has tendered his resignation to the new opposition leader, Rishi Sunak. Cameron, who served in the, as the Foreign Secretary in Sunak's cabinet, took to his ex-account saying that the Conservative Party in opposition will have to shadow the new Foreign Secretary from the Commons. He added that it had been a huge honour to serve as Foreign Secretary and he would continue to support the Tories. Meanwhile, the Deputy Foreign Secretary, Andrew Mitchell, will take over as the new shadow. Following Cameron's departure, Richard Holden too resigned as the party chair after the Tories' poor show in the recent elections. The new party chair will be taken over by Bedfordshire MP Richard Fuller. Um, Further to that, Jeremy Hunt and James Cleverley will continue as Shadow Chancellor and Shadow Home Secretary. Similarly, Oliver Dowden will remain as the Deputy Leader of the Opposition. On the other hand, James Cartledge has been appointed as the new Shadow Defence Secretary, while Ed Agar took over as the Shadow Secretary of Justice. Andrew Griffith will be put in charge of science, innovation and technology. Former Policing Minister Chris Philp has been appointed as the Shadow Commons Leader. Other portfolios like Education and Transport will be taken over by Damien Hines and Helen Watley. Meanwhile, Victoria Atkins and Steve Barclay will continue to handle health and the environment portfolios. Until further announcement, Rishi Sunak will continue as the Leader of the Opposition. However, his allies believe that Sunak may not even last beyond the summer. This means that the chances are that the Tories might have to appoint a new interim leader. To the country, I would like to say first and foremost...